my name is Kári Viðarsson. Um, I am from this town, Rif and Hellisandur, and I am an actor, uh, the artistic director of the freezer, and an entrepreneur. In the back of my mind, I always dreamed of doing something at first with only the fish factory house, because I grew up in this town and I, I always saw a lot of potential in, in that house, in that building, because it wasn't doing anything and it kind of needed some life. And um, he was sending me an email asking about something in Iceland, if there was anything going on. And I thought, I looked at the website and I thought, hey, it's a pretty brilliant idea. Yeah, I, I, I looked at the building and I thought it could be some sort of like a heritage, historical, like museum almost, like an outdoor gallery. And that's kind of how it started. I only got the idea like in March, I think we were speaking together in March. The first artist was here like, two weeks later. <laughs> and then it expanded obviously when the town really liked what we were doing at the fish factory the town wanted to get involved and, and they allowed me to kind of expand the project and make it into this kind of street art capital of Iceland idea. So we got more walls, we got more spaces to paint and uh, yeah, the concept of the fish factory project to begin with was to have murals made on these walls that were based on local stories. Because I'm an artist working here for the last eight years and actually these five stories that I picked, I had already made plays about them. So I already have my own kind of artistic uh, interpretations. Felt like if you live here, you should really know these stories. You should know where you're coming from. And also people that travel here, they should know what our background is. And it seems like with Art Traveler and this um, platform that you've built, it allows for like spontaneous, really nice kind of ideas just to kind of poof, go like this. Because I know that if I hadn't been in contact with you and with Art Traveler, it would have been super difficult for me to do this. Because I don't think there's any, at least I don't know of it, uh, network of artists that I would have just been able to go like, hey, I'm doing this, like I need 10 artists. A mixture of um, liking the art, seeing the, this kind of spectrum of art and, and just character, judging characters. At the moment, my favorite, favorite piece is um, Esteban's sea monster. It also because it has a really like personal connection to me and my family because my grandfather uh, ran a fish factory in that building. I got, I'm pretty lucky with the community here. As you guys have noticed, you know, everyone helps each other out. You know, if I need a forklift, I get a forklift. If, uh, if the owner of the forklift takes the keys of the forklift to London, then another guy has another forklift and keys that are identical, you know, it's, you know how things kind of just worked out. Fridjón from Sliffelaith, he's a legend. If I wouldn't have been in contact with him, you know, this would have made me go bankrupt. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but, you know, he helped us source so much paint and the fact that they really support it is in this way, it's unbelievable. So I would say, like, everyone who lives in Hellisandur and everyone who lives close to us, please just always do your business with Slippy Life. You know, it's like almost like it's a health project. I feel like the general mood of the town, the people in town, is lifted by this. Because you are affected by your uh, environment. And when you have a derelict building that's like kind of just sitting there doing nothing, you can start to avoid, you know, people don't go around that building. And then when something like this happens to the building, it starts to like poof, explode into this kind of volcano of artwork. Then you can see how much it means to people. And, 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 and I've had a number of conversations with local people throughout this whole project, even, even just from the start of it, when we only had like one portrait from Robin, you know, people are going like, whoa, this is amazing. Can you imagine how they feel now when we have al almost 30 wall paintings? The challenge, I think, and what I would maybe suggest for other people that are making projects is maybe, you know, you know, make a financial plan. Maybe if you're doing something like this in a big city, make sure that you have a more concrete plan than I, than I did. Don't miss going to Hedley Center. Don't drive past the town. Just go into the town and explore and if you don't come to the freezer and come to see our shows and check out the art and go see a live music show and you're an idiot. <laughs> That's
<laughs> That's just how I feel. You should be here. Continue supporting Art Traveler. Continue uh, using it. Use it.